Welcome back to another lesson. In this lesson, I'd like to talk about a kind of a neglected chord, I think, uh, which is the minor 7 flat 5 chord. I'm going to show you how to construct it and what I mean, and then we're going to look at some musical examples that put it in context, you know, where you might actually use it. So let's start by showing you how to construct a chord. Let's pick, say, the C major scale. So the C major scale has notes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the C minor chord is made of the first, flat and third, and fifth degrees of the scale. And if I were to play a C minor seventh, I'd also add the flat and seventh degree. And a C minor seven flat five would be take the fifth degree, which is a G, and flatten it, so lower it by a semitone. So these, this is the C minor 7 flat 5 chord. It has a C, E flat, G flat, and a B flat. Now you should probably transpose this all across the keyboard and familiarize yourself with this, the voicing of this chord in all 12 possible uh, keys. For example, a D minor 7 flat 5, or an A minor 7 flat 5, so just take an A minor 7 and flatten the 5. Now, let me give you two examples where you might actually use this thing. The first example is as a chord substitution for a minor 4th. Let me show you what I mean by this. Let's take a simple progression, and let's say I'm playing a C. This goes on to an F, and then to an F minor, and then back to a C. Now, this F minor is basically the fourth degree of the scale, and it's a minor, so it's a minor fourth. And what you can do is you can substitute this minor fourth for a minor seven flat five, which is three semitones below it. That is, take the F, go down three semitones, here's the D, and play, instead of the F minor, <coughs> instead of the F minor, play a D minor seven flat five. Let me show you how this sounds. Let me show you another variation. Here, instead of playing a, an F, I'm going to actually play an A flat. Have a, have a listen. In fact, I can extend this progression, and I can play a C, going to an A flat, going to an F minor, going to a D minor 7 flat 5, and then back to a C. Have a listen to this as well. So you can either substitute the F minor for the D minor uh, 7 flat 5, or you can follow the F minor with the D minor 7 flat 5. 
Let me show you one more example of where and how to use this uh, chord. And I'm going to start with a quick kind of story. So, you know, when, when I first, when you first kind of encounter the piano and you sit down by it and somebody tells you this is a chord, the first thing you instinctively do is you transpose it up the keys, right? You play just as a little kid, you know, starting out. Now, all of the chords kind of in the beginning sound good, except for this guy, which always seemed at the beginning again to be kind of not fit in. And this happens also when you play fourth chords. So here's a C uh, major seven. And this guy always sticks out. Now, if you'll take a look, you'll see that this is actually a B minor uh, 7 flat 5. This is a B minor 7, and here I flatten the 5. Now, an interesting progression in which this is featured <clears throat> is one where the B minor 7 flat 5 is followed by an E minor and then into a, an F. So it, as far as the C, or, or as far as the scale is concerned, I'm going to the seventh degree, third degree, and fourth degree. And then maybe, you know, let's start actually by playing this and we'll maybe complicate it a bit. By the way, here's a kind of a musical puzzle for you. Which famous song from the 80s does this remind you of? Uh, you can write the answer in the comments, by the way. Uh, can we, of course, we can always add complexity to the progression. We can, for example, follow the F with a D minor. So this would sound like this. So I hope you've learned something interesting and, and you've kind of maybe uh, changed your mind about this weird chord that always sticks out and I'll see you next time.